nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, fire. Alright, so let's get started. Before we get started with the sketching part of this video, let's take a minute to think about what components a motorcycle is built up by. So we want to think about the major components of a motorcycle and what actually makes the motorcycle work. And those are the big components that we want to try and get down first before we jump into any details. We're going to sketch a cafe style, uh, caf cafe racer style motorcycle. So it's going to be the bare essentials and we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. So let's get going. First of all, we need to get the, all the motorcycles have wheels. So that's, let's start with putting out the wheels here. So something like that. And as I've said before, uh, nothing right now has to be perfect. It doesn't matter if these are a bit egg shaped or not circular at all. You see, I adjusted here already because I thought that uh, the wheelbase is going to be too long if I put the wheel here. So I moved the circle that way just a little bit, but it doesn't matter because we're not going to see any of these lines or these lines are not going to have a big impact when the sketch is finished. So let's continue by adding the, uh, um, uh, some different features on here. So we have the, uh, we have the fork goes up something like this. Very, very basic right now. And we have a tank around here. Uh, depending on how big we want the tank to be. Something like this probably. And I rarely sketch motorcycles. So this is kind of a, uh, <laughs> a challenge for me to get this right. But uh, it's fun, so let's see how it's going to turn out. And we also have a seat. Now, a seat of a cafe racer is pretty basic. So usually they have some sort of, uh, uh, I don't know what to call this, but a cap here on the back. And then they have the seat, uh, which is almost flat like this. From here, we have a shock that goes, I want it to be a uh, single shock right here. So we have the spring right there and we also have the big engine so usually it has a block that looks something like that and it goes depending on what motorcycle you're sketching I guess it looks something like this and we also have the uh, the frame it's an important part of any bike so let's get the frame down And it usually goes, let's see, around this. It might be a bit too low right now. So I'm gonna try and see if I can fix that by moving this up. So I'm adjusting again. And then the frame goes in front of this shock right here. And let's just connect the frame like that and we also have the the difficult part um, I think with motorcycles is that we have the uh, so many details in here uh, we have the engine block and we have some other things in here that needs to get in that needs to get sketched out or at least fill in all these uh, blank areas here and that can be a bit tricky sometimes. So what you can do is just uh, come up with a few shapes and just add the shapes in here. It doesn't really have to be, um, at least I, I don't think so. It doesn't have to be accurate what you're doing because we're just having fun. We're just trying to sketch how a motorcycle will look like, what it looks like, uh, not all the uh, not all the mechanical stuff have to be straight on correct, at least in my opinion. And we have the gauges up here. 
So you want to put the gauges like that. And handlebar. And we have the tank made already. You might want to add some uh, some design on the tank. So maybe make a line going like this and hit this corner right there. Uh, what else? We have the uh, the seat has to be sitting on something. So we want to make a frame right here that goes into the other frame, which ends there. And this area here looks a bit empty, so I'm going to try and fill that out with some random stuff. And see if we can fill fill in the space here. And we have the axle going back to the, the swing arm, arm going back to the rear wheel. Like that. Fill in the wheels. And we need some thickness to the wheels. That was probably the worst circle I've ever made. And let's connect this to the ground so we have it planted and sitting on something. There we go. Uh, let's see, how are we going to fill this space? That's the question. Just gonna add some random stuff in here and see how it turns out. I can always go back and adjust whatever I don't like, so it's not a big deal. Uh, let's see, this space is looking a bit weird right now, a little bit messy. Kinda wanna clean that up. I do think the seat is a bit too long, so I'm gonna shorten it down and adjusting again here and cut this off right there. I almost wanna cut this. Maybe. Why not? It looks cool like that. And these needs to be connected too. So we have this part here and we have the bottom of the tank makes make it a bit more uh, prominent by adding line weight to it. And we have some radiator here in the front. Uh, what does a radiator look like? And I know it has a bunch of grid line in it, so something like this maybe. And I want to add a swing, or I don't know what this is called. I think it's called a bra <laughs> for a motorcycle, so I'm adding a bra down here. Uh, let's see. I want to fill this space out uh, because it looks a bit empty now, and it, I'm not a fan of it, so I'm going to try and fill... Uh, fill these areas out by with added by adding something. I'm not sure what yet though, so uh, We're just gonna have to play around with it. Maybe we can have uh, some sort of uh, Some uh, what is it called bolts and nuts going in there But I think we're starting to get the get the basic shapes of this motorcycle down uh, Let's see we need to work a bit more on the shocks in the front here because they look too simple. So I want to add a thickness to it. Really simple. Also need to have a disc brake up here. And we need to cut this around there and add a disc brake. Uh, calipers, of course. There we go. Same thing in the back. I want to add some, uh, I want to work a bit more on this swing arm here. I'm going to add a bolt in the middle. Not sure if I want to have, let's make it uh, drum brakes in the, in the back.
So that would look something like this. I'm not even sure I'm gonna marker this. Maybe, maybe not, we'll see. Uh, I also want this to have a bit more dynamic shape to the bottom of the seat. So I'm gonna add an angle right here and fill this in. Work some more on the shocks. Also got to keep in mind what parts are the layering of the parts, what parts are in front of the others. So uh, just to get some uh, clarity about that and not have lines cross each other too much. So for example, here you see that you can see some things behind this, uh, this uh, swing arm. Cool, so the wheels are looking kind of weird. They're not exactly 100% round, but uh, I'm gonna add at least black marker to this. So I'm gonna fill this these wheels out later on. And now I wanna add some line weight to this and have it uh, add some contrast to everything. So I'm gonna start by filling in some lines, especially the lines that are facing down towards the ground. I want them to be thicker and darker than all the other lines because it's gonna give it some weight and it's gonna give it a stance and look like it's uh, sitting on the ground. Uh, let's see this line here as well can add some texture or some shape to the disc. I always have problems with making tiny circles. It's so difficult. It's easier to make a large one uh, than to make a small circle. So I'm gonna do the same with these wheels here. I'm gonna add line weight to them and make this, all the lines facing down towards the ground, make them uh, stand out. Add some weight to that one and let's do the same thing with the tank. So we're adding uh, contrast to it. Uh, do we want a front fender? I don't think so. I think I'm gonna keep it clean like this and not add a front fender right there. We have the lights, we have the basics down now of this design. decided to uh, not marker this sketch because if I put markers on it right now I've gone so far with the big pen so if I add markers right now it's going to make the big pen bleed and I'm uh, I think that's going to make the whole sketch look super messy a bit too messy even for my taste I usually like it when sketches are messy but not when the, uh, the the big pen starts to bleed too much. So I'm gonna keep it 
just uh, uh, just with uh, just make it a big big pen sketch basically. So I'm gonna keep it like this. Right now I'm just filling in a few more details uh, and shading on this sketch. Uh, for example, I want uh, I want to add some contrast between the the parts and the background. So I'm adding. Uh, I'm adding some shading onto these parts here. For example, the uh, uh, what's this called? The brake, the brake uh, caliper here. For example, I want to have that stand out from the background since it's white now. I'm gonna add some shading to it, just simple like that. Nothing too fancy at all. And also add the line weight so that we get some weight weight on this caliper. Try not to mess up the because if I go over the uh, <laughs> the lines with a hand here, uh, it's going to make the lines smear, and I want to try and stay away from that. So uh, keep adding some shading to the disc break to the disc as well. Same thing here. Add some uh, uh, line weight as well. I'm gonna speed this cam this uh, film or this video up now from from here on because I'm all I'm gonna do now is just keep adding weight but I don't want to cut the video because I want you to see the whole process from start to finish so I'll see you <laughs> I see you I'll see you in the end of this video So there we have it. I think I am happy with this sketch for now. I might add some markers to it, to it later, but uh, as I said, I think it's going to bleed a lot with the big pen lines because there, there's so many of them here. But uh, what we did, we started with the basics of a motorcycle. So just figure out what kind of, what components you need to make a motorcycle. And those are the first things you wanna sketch. So for example, the wheels, we started with the wheels and uh, uh, then pretty much everything else, the frame and the seat, tank, lamp, all of those things are components that every motorcycle have. So those are the things you want to sketch first. And then all of this inside here, you kind of come up with that as you go. Because there's so many components in here in a motorcycle. So it's not easy to figure out where everything goes and so on. But if you just keep adding small details, like these circles here for example i think you're gonna you're gonna be fine so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe i really appreciate it thank you so much i'll see you next time